don't just buy booze. That ain't food. What do you mean, booze ain't food? I'd rather chop off my ding dong than admit that. You'd rather chop off your ding dong than not drink? Yeah! Wow, we. Welcome to another edition of Brutal Brews, where we give you metal albums and delicious beer. I'm Frank, and this is Sir Philip. My, my sidekick for the evening. So, for the beer tonight, we have Stone's Double Bastard in the Rye. And we're going to be pairing that with Warbringers Waking into Nightmares. Now, for anyone who's ever had any of the Bastard releases, they're very aggressively hopped and aggressive with the malts. A nice, solid, aggressive beer. The Double Bastard takes that a step further. And to even go into that further step, let's age it in some rye whiskey barrels. It's pretty much what you would expect as far as if you've had Double Bastard before. Same taste, but with that little bit of rye spiciness to it. Yes, Phil, it is delicious. Thank you for that insightful comment. <laughs> the album to go with it is Warbringers Waking into Nightmares, which is one of my fa personal favorite thrash albums. It has razor sharp riffs just cutting into you, and the drum section with its hammering double bass is magnificent, driving it all the way there. Yes. I know it's amazing. No, you cannot start moshing right now. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at you. You'll break. This is a, a bit on the pricey side right now because it is a limited release. This, uh, I believe it's a 500 miller bottle, is around $20. That's uh, 12.7%. So this will uh, have you taking punches to the face in no time. <laughs> Pick your up some double, yourself up some double bastard in the rye. Pick up Warbringers, Waking Nightmares, and have yourself a blast.